It's a magnetic harness. It's made by Lens Digital to work with your Pyburn grip, custom made for users of the Thunder Laser Bolt. Let's check it out today on Laser Nug. Welcome back to the channel today. If one of the items you're looking to engrave on your bolt are things like tumblers or travel mugs, coffee mugs, different types of cylindrical objects, you're either looking for a rotary or you've purchased a rotary. When you place it into the bolt, you've learned that the 4.3 inches of Z depth or clearance on top of this honeycomb will only allow you to engrave up to four inch cylindrical objects and certainly nothing with a handle. So if you're looking to engrave things that are larger in diameter than that four inches or items or cylinders that have handles or other type of odd shapes to them, you're going to need some assistance. I did a video a few weeks ago where I demonstrated how much or what size or diameter of cylindrical devices you could use using the honeycomb that comes with the bolt versus adding on something like a drop tray or some type of tool to allow you to get more Z access out of the bolt. I'll put a link to that video here in case you missed it. Our good friends at Thunder Laser Canada were kind enough to send me this magnetic mount to throw on my pie burn grip and to check out in the bolt to see what further or what additional type of clearance I can get in the bolt as a user. That's what we're gonna do today. The first thing we wanna do is remove the honeycomb from out of the bolt. Being careful not to hit the laser head. That leaves us the structural frame for the Z axis wide open for us to be able to attach our magnetic harness. Attaching the harness to my Pyburn grip was pretty simple and really quick. Using what I think are earth magnets because they are incredibly strong, simply drop the harness down and those magnets grip instantly. Just using my calipers and a measuring tape, I've been able to determine that you will get exactly one further inch of workable space on your Z axis just by clamping this harness into place. It's also important to note that this magnetic harness will drop your Pyburn grip down one inch further than it would have on the honeycomb, but that's not the only consideration. Keep in mind that you also now have all the space below to be able to utilize for things like handles or larger bowls or larger cylindrical objects. They can now pass down below what would have been a flat plane of the honeycomb. That gives you additional space as well which is really important with cylindrical objects. Providing that one inch of additional clearance on its own doesn't mean much. The real question is practically, what more can that do for me? I know that simply placing that pie burn grip on top of my honeycomb means I can engrave anything up to four inches and nothing with a handle. Let's see what I can fit on there additionally by using this magnetic harness. Can we engrave a coffee mug with a handle? That's better. We have clearance to the side on the rail. We have clearance underneath. We have clearance against the Z frame. Let's take a look and see if the laser can come across. Yep, yeah, plenty of room, lots extra room. So let's see how big a diameter we can put in here. We're gonna test out some larger bowls. So I'm gonna need to change up my grips and I'll be right back with you. I put my extensions on because I need that for large bowls and I've changed my grips. I've also had to move the stepper motor up to the next level on this mounting bracket because otherwise the extended grips would not clear the rail. You might remember this is our six and three quarter inch bowl that we used the last time for testing. I've already taken a minute just to make sure this is balanced and level. We'll lock her in. You can see there she's spinning. I'm just going to point you down for one second. You can see the clearance at the bottom and you'll see that there's now much more clearance than what I needed before. But prior on the bottom hole of the bracket, the end of your grip is going to make contact with the rail. Let's see if we can get the laser over it. Yeah, unfortunately not. So that laser is not going to pass over a six and three quarter inch object. Let's try something a little smaller in diameter. Okay, let's try our old familiar friend, the six and a half inch bowl. I mean the second from the bottom on the bracket for the stepper motor. 
I have my extensions in as best as I can. Let's throw her on there, tighten it up. And I've also leveled it already. Okay. The stepper motor has to be in this slot. It can't go further down because otherwise these grips are gonna hit or impact the rail. That's our six and a half inch bowl. She's level. Let's see if we can get our laser over it. Yeah, and we can't. There's, it's probably a good close to an inch below the circumference or the diameter of that bowl. Okay, let's take it one step down. Okay, our next test, it's a five inch bowl. I wanted to drop down a bit. Stepper motor is level. I've taken the stepper motor, dropped it down to the very bottom hole on the bracket so it can't go down any further. I've used the very tips of my grips and then I've extended these end stops up. Let's see if we can fit her in. Okay, bowl is on level. Let's bring in the laser head. Okay, lots of room there. That's a five inch bowl. We can safely engrave that. So do you think I could find something that was between five inches and six inches so we could try to narrow this down? Let's improvise. So I checked the kitchen, checked the workshop, went downstairs into the cupboards. I cannot find a bowl or anything that is somewhere between five and six inches. However, I do have this disc from my workshop. This is five and three quarters inches. I'm gonna place it into the middle of this. See if I can get this to grip. And if not, I'll hold it. There we go. Oh, isn't that nice? Jeez. Let's see if we can get the laser over this. Yeah. I think that's about the extent we're going to be able to go. I think there's just enough room in there that we can autofocus. Let's just get her right over the center. Yeah. That's about as far as it's going. Yeah, that's it. So that's five and three quarters inches. So based on the testing from that previous video as well as today, we know that we can use the pie burn bolt on top of the honeycomb and we should be able to safely engrave up to about four inches in diameter. With the addition of this magnetic harness, you're gonna get up to about five and three quarters inch in diameter. That's a big improvement. Let me leave you with a few observations and thoughts from my first use today. Although I've just used it for the first time, here are my initial thoughts. The harness could not be easier to install or set up. So for that, I give Lens Digital two thumbs up. Ease of use, as far as getting it into the bolt, two thumbs up. It couldn't be simpler. Not only are these magnets super strong, I'm pretty sure they have to be earth magnets because they are strong. You can adjust the grip either way, side to side. And if you need to move it further forward or further back on the rails, these magnetic strips move along the harness. So you can reposition the grip as you need it. As far as tools and hardware, in true Lens Digital form, they give you everything you need in the package. And the only hex driver you need is one of the hex drivers that came with your initial purchase. So you don't have to go out and buy any screwdrivers. And the harness is gonna give you an extra roughly one and a quarter to one and three eighths depth on your Z-axis. And depending on what types of products you wanna sell or what types of materials you wanna engrave, that can be a big benefit if you need to go over four inches. It's a pretty simple way to get there. Cons or negatives with this harness? I don't have any. The only thing I was concerned about were the magnets. But like I said, you need pretty much both hands to try to get them off of that set axis frame. They're strong. So I hope today's video was helpful for you. I just wanted to say thank you so much to the good folks at Thunder Laser Canada for sending this over for me to try. I really appreciate that. Have a great week with your families. Please be kind to one another. And I'll see you again right here. I'm Gord Potter, and you've been watching LaserNug. Cheers.